All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and we have got a lot of news to talk about. Um, JP revealed some info. Now, uh, pretty much all of this, by the way, well, actually, yeah, pretty everything we're going to look at here is going to be both Global and JP, right? This is very good. This celebration, like, uh, maybe some people won't be so crazy, because, like, Bardock is cool. Like, I, you know, base form Bardock that transforms into Super Saiyan Bardock, right? Like, 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 he he's cool, for sure, right? No doubt about that. Like, like th this is definitely going to be a really cool unit. But, I mean, maybe just for me personally, like, maybe because that episode of Bardock shit ain't all that. Like, this is, like, again, this is cool, but it's not the craziest. And the other thing, too, is that we, like, here, let me go to Bardock himself. And we really needed an upgrade for Super Saiyan Bardock. Not base form Bardock. Base form Bardock had a summonable LR. So, I don't... This is good in that it does show that, like, just when they drop a summonable LR for a unit, doesn't mean they're never going to drop another, un like, unit for that, u well, unit for that unit. You guys get what I'm saying, right? Like, I don't know. It, it would be weird of me to think that they could drop, uh, whatchamacallit, the, um, another, like, base form Vegito that transforms into Super Saiyan from the Boo Saga. Like, I do think that might be a little bit weird, you know, because of the anniversary units, but I, I do think it's very... Uh, possible that we're gonna start to see some, you know, new units for, like, LRs, right? Like, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, I think, from the BoJack movie, will have the same name as the LR Gohan. Um, yeah, I think we will see a new Majin Vegeta at some point. Majin Vegeta's way too hype. The, imagine the final explosion animation in the way they do the animations nowadays. Like, it's just something we're going to see, right? Bardock is just the first one that they've done that replaces a summonable LR, right? Um, and again, I would imagine this guy is going to be better um, than whatchamacallit. And I haven't really looked at these details too closely, right? The first thing I want to take a look at is his categories, right? So... Uh, that's Explosion of Anger, Transformation Boost, uh, that's, I think, Super Saiyan, Time Traveler, oh, yeah, Goku Family, Revived Warriors, uh, Pure Saiyan, and then this is probably Team Bardock and Revenge right there, jeez, so he's on way more category, yeah, I'm stupid, last night I forgot about Time Traveler and Super Saiyan, I'm dumb, <laughs> But wow, yeah, that's good. That's good. He's on a lot of categories, man. And there we go. Time Traveler. Like, a couple of these categories are just so insane now. Like, right, like Realm of Gods, I would say, is probably the second best category in the game. I would still put Pure Saiyan at one. Um, just because it's the biggest category in the game. And, like, now even Bardock is on there, right? Um, but, like, Time Traveler might be, like, three. Like, it's, like, right there. So, that's interesting. He's on a ton of categories. That's really good. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Is one of these low-class Saiyan? Uh, low-class Saiyan... Because I, I, I think that's Transformation Boost. He has to be on low-class Saiyan. So it must be this one? Because he, cause he's getting uh, Team Bardock and Revenge. So those are the two newer categories at the top, right? And one of these is Pure Saiyan, one is Super Saiyan. Uh, Revived Warrior, Goku Family, Time Traveler... Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and then one down here is low class war and one's transformation boost. Okay. Because some of these, like, symbols, right? Like, like I know that, like, the little, like, Y type thing, right? One of them is Super Saiyan, one's Pure Saiyan. Like, Hybrid Saiyan's got, like, that little Y as well. Like, well, I don't know Japanese, obviously, but, like, you know, I've, I just play JP Dokkan so much that I do recognize the category, um, the categories, right? Uh, okay, we have uh, translations from Talon this time. Uh, I should also point out as well that there is a new Raditz. This is very good, right? Because Bardock is heavily based around um, low-class warriors, right? His passive, he gets stronger with low-class warriors on the team. But, I mean, his Super Saiyan version after he transforms is just, like, batshit insane, right? I mean, attacks effective against all extreme-class enemies is really good. That's very, very good, right? So that's going to be very impressive. That Bardock, if you're, you know, if you're able to get that transformation off with Bardock and, you know, he's stacking defense before you get to it, he's going to be wild. Like, he's really good. But a Raditz, a better Raditz for the low-class warrior category is extremely good. Um, That is definitely one of the big holes that was here. Um, Again, I do think that this Goku right here, 
could eventually be a Dokkan Festival exclusive. Uh, him and Piccolo from the tournament, I think, is very possible. They've got to get a better Goku on here. they got to add the Kaioken Gokus on here. There's still stuff that they should do with this low-class warrior category, right? But, you know, we're, we're getting a little bit better. Are there any other, like, Saiyans I'm not thinking of that could be on here? Not really. I mean, maybe the two, like, dream Saiyans that they fight, um, like Yamcha, Tien, Chaozu, and Krillin. Uh, is Yajirobe in there too? No, Yajirobe does not go in that little, it's like a filler episode on the Saiyan saga. <coughs> they're actually in Dokkan, they're just like, uh, generic enemies in like, quest stage and stuff like that. But, uh, okay, so let's, let's take a look what Talon's got. So, oh, he's starting with Raditz. Okay, so again, we have this Raditz right here, he is extreme tech. That's really good, right? Raditz had, you know, no good, like, characters, basically. Let me see what categories he's got. So, Goku Family, Pure Saiyan, uh, Terrifying Conquerors. And then low class Saiyan as one as well. Okay, um, interesting, interesting. Those are the categories he's on. Um, wait, let me take a look at Bardock one more time. Is he not on Revived Warrior? Because maybe that's no, he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. I don't know. Whatever. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So let's see what uh, Rada says. So he's a low class warrior category key three hundred twenty percent of stats. That's good. Um, he stacks attack and has a high chance to stun. That's good. Ooh, high chance to stun is obviously very good. So right away, he's good for Super Battle Road, right? Um, oh, and especially with the ultimate Super Battle Road coming up, which looks like it might be coming to global. There's no confirmation. I, thinking about it, I feel like it will because, um, previously global had the active skill and transformation uh mechanics come early to global before the anniversary and lr's easying is like an anniversary thing for jp but i think that's probably what they'll bring to global early right so that will be good um then his passive own attack and defense plus 100 percent uh when facing one enemy he gets one key and an additional 100 percent attack and defense that's very good what are his stats um, so he's going to be at 14,000 attack. No, he's at 15,000. 15,000 attack, 10,000 defense. I mean, that's good. Uh, because usually you don't get very many, like, banner units above that level. Yeah, that's going to be really good for a banner unit, actually. Um, then when facing two or more enemies, he gets two key. And when you attack an enemy, they will be stunned. They will... Oh, wait... They will be stunned. It's a 100% chance to stun. And mitigate damage by 50%. That's a 100% chance to stun? Hold on. Let me pull up the uh, Reddit real quick. Because uh, I'm sure there will be translations um, by someone on here. I, I, I just need to double, <laughs> double check that. Because... So that means in Super Battle Road, he always stuns? That he's ridiculous. He's, he's OP. Are you kidding me? Yeah, let's see. Let, let's see what we got here for Raditz. Um, stuns attacked enemy. Oh, my God. Wow. That's very good. <laughs> so, in Super Battle Road, he reduces damage by 50%. And he guaranteed stuns. He doesn't have the extra 100% attack and defense, though, when he's facing multiple enemies. Wow, that's good. And then we're facing a Goku family or Namekian category enemy. Additional 50% attack and high chance to stun the enemy. So this guy has a high chance to stun the enemy, a 100% chance to stun the enemy, and then a high chance to stun the enemy. That's good. That is good. And then there's Bardock's transformation conditions. After four turns or facing a wicked bloodline. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I said last night. Yeah. <laughs> Ha ha ha! I I correctly predicted that. Okay, I I like that. I like that. Um, that is really good, by the way. Um, so what that means? Four turns is something you will hit nearly every fight, right? So Super Saiyan Bardock is something you are going to see all the time. It's not going to be rare for this guy to come out. Four turns is incredibly good, right? That's very very good. So. Ooh, man. And then he he can immediately transform against Wicked Bloodline enemies. I mean, there's not a lot of them. So, I mean, that's not really the greatest, but still, that's pretty good. What is Bardock at? 16,700 attack? That's really... That's, that's, that's good. That's good. I mean, really good is above 17k, but that's good. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and he's at like 11,000 defense. I mean, he's good. He definitely looks very good. Bardock is very strong. I, I think there's no doubt about that. Um, okay, so we got that. Let me see what else we got here. All right, so then they showed off uh, the LR team Bardock as well. I mean, it's not really the biggest deal because we did already have uh, details for the LR team Bardock, right? We saw most of it from Dokkan now. Hey, let's take a look at the super attack. I haven't seen Raditz's super attack animation. Here, let me... I want to make sure that this is like... Yeah, this, this blows my eardrums off. Okay, this looks pretty good so far. Okay, not bad. Eh, it's okay. It's okay. That, that's, that's an okay super attack animation. And then, obviously, we've already seen um, Bardock, and we've already seen uh, the LR team Bardocks right here. I mean, it does look very good, right? Bardock definitely is very deserving of a Dokkan Fest exclusive. Uh, but I, I, I think I personally would have liked him better as a standalone Super Saiyan unit. I mean, obviously, transformation animation looks great. His super attack animation looks great. He's awesome. But there was more of a need for a better Super Saiyan Bardock. I mean, unless they want to give us, um, like, an easy A for the Super Saiyan Bardocks or something like that. Like, I mean, that would be really good because the physical Super Saiyan Bardock and the tech Super Saiyan Bardock are quite good. Um, we'll see. I mean, personally, the big thing I would like to see... I mean, I, I love that the Dokkan Wiki already has the Team Bardock category up. They're so good. But uh, I would love to see the Grade 8 Bardock... Or the Grade 8 um, members get their Easy 8s. That's what needs to happen. So this guy, this guy, this guy, her, and then Borgos right there. They got to get an Easy That's the best thing they could do. Because that buffs Low Class Warriors, Team Bardock, and Giants, right? Three categories that badly need it. I, I don't know if Super Saiyan 3 Bardock will be on here. Team Bardock? I got the AGL one on here, too. I don't know about that and and you. um We'll see. I mean, the, the category is obviously not in-game yet. We'll know when the data download hits. I'm skeptical Super Saiyan 3 Bardock will be on there. um Obviously, it would be very good if he was, right? And he does have Prepare for Battle as well as over in the Flash. So he will fit amazingly on there. Uh, but it, it just, that, that one seems a bit weird. I don't know. Well, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I, I would, it, it's way better for us if he's on there, right? Um, okay. So the team Bardock, so their leader skill three key, 120% of stats. Oh, good. I called that one too. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Cause I figured they're not going to now release a leader skill of a hundred percent in this day and age, right? Like they don't, they just don't do that. Like 120% is what they do for sort of like uh sub leaders and banner units, right? Like, I mean, look at Raditz. Raditz is 120%. Uh, they greatly raise attack for one turn on their 12 key. And then they raise super class allies attack by 30% for one turn on their 18 key. Okay. Pretty good. Um, and then, yeah, we know their passive super type allies attack and defense 30%. Team Bardock allies get additional 30% attack and defense. I mean, that, like, Team Bardock units with this LR round are going to be very interesting, right? Like, Bardock's team, Revenge slash uh, Low Class Saiyans, like, it, it does, I, I don't know, I, I need to see what the Revenge category looks like first, right? But, like, you are going to easily be able to activate a lot of conditions of his passive where he gets extra attack and defense for Low Class Saiyans because, you know, now that we think about it, right, you do have Turles. You do have Great Ape Tora. Now we have the LR Team Bardock as well. And you still have Dokkan Fest Kid Goku. So you do actually have a couple of units that like you really could benefit from running. And then even the Tech Raditz, right? Depending upon the event, that Tech Raditz is going to be very powerful as well. So it, I think Bardock, they set up Bardock very easily to succeed, Like right? Like Bar it's going to be very easy for Bardock to dominate. And especially because they did not restrict his Super Saiyan transformation, right? Four turns or one turn against Wicked Bloodline is best case scenario, quite honestly. That's that's exactly what we want. And again, uh, this Bardock right here stacks defense on his super attack. So um, you can choose it when you want to transform into this guy, right? Because it's an active skill transformation. Active skill transformations are very good when there's a reason not to transform, right? With Cooler and with Bardock. Both of them have that. Uh, future Gohan would have benefited from it as well, quite honestly, um, if you could choose if to transform or not to transform. So that is a, a good thing for sure. Like, I did, the active skill attacks are definitely more, like, powerful, right? Because, like, just look at the way that the LR blue fusions are set up and for all the evidence you need. But, like, these active skill transformations are also very, very good, right? 
So I believe that's that's pretty much it right there. We got the Raditz, we got the Team Bardock, and then, of course, we have LR Bardock. Here, let me pull up the Team Bardock real quick. Um, all of this does appear like it's going to be coming out uh, to Global and JP, like all of this stuff, right? The one thing, again, that I'm unsure of... Now, again, people are sort of, like, talking about this now, that two days until uh, Super Battle Road goes away. It's very likely to me that this means Global is going to get the Ultimate Super Battle Road as well. The fact that it was announced on JP but not on Global does not mean anything, by the way. Because some people have said, oh, well, it was announced on JP, but it's not announced on Global, so it's not coming. That's not true either. Because many times we've seen stuff actually, like for these uh, dual celebrations, we've seen a lot of stuff announced for Global but not announced for JP, like, as quickly, right? Global will get the announcements first. That's happened many times. So, right now, I, it's 50-50, because what this could mean is just that Super Bad Road will be active every day during the celebration. That's all it could be. But, I I don't know. I, I do think it probably will come to both versions, Um, because the last time they released new Super Bad Road Sages, they released it to both versions at the same time, right? So, like, it would make sense for them to then now make that a pattern and do it again. That's that's what they like to do. So, I would say chances are very good, very high, that uh, the extreme or ultimate Super Battle Road stages will be coming to both versions at the same time. And Kid Gohan um, will be getting his EZA, the LR Kid Gohan. I'll probably do, later on today, I'll do a video just sort of going over, like, how his EZA could be impactful and stuff like that. Um, but he could be he could be very good. Like, right now, he's sort of an L of a unit. Like, he just does nothing, right? He's never been good. Like, he's always just been a trophy card for his leader skill. But they could actually make him good. And that would be very interesting to me. So, let me know what you guys think. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'll catch y'all next time.